hills of Montaione, west of Florence. Luciano Spalletti's scenic retreat. The former Roma and Inter coach may not currently be working in football, but even in this magnificent landscape of vineyards and olive groves, even in this idyllic haven of peace and tranquility, his thoughts turn to the beautiful game. Football is the heart of the world. It beats the same way everywhere. And those who love it never play away. They always play at home. This installation was born from the life I've led, from the passion that I have for life, because it comprises many different aspects. There's football which I have clocked up many miles on the road for and from which I have trapped all the sensations and the most beautiful emotions to keep them with me. There is the countryside and nature because my family has always lived in the countryside. Having had the good fortune to work at Inter in Milan, I was able to experience those emotions inside that stadium, which is La Scala of football, one of the most beautiful stadiums in Italy. Seeing that football is something that children often dream about, and that dreams drop out of the sky, the ladders seem to be made for going up to meet those dreams. The dreams realized by boys who became heroes, memorialized in Spalletti's personal collection. Sono le maglie di calciatori. They are the shirts of players that I have had the pleasure of coaching, or that I've met as highly esteemed opponents on my part. Stati molto stimati da parte mia e me le sono. I took them home with me. Usually, a coach never asks an opponent for his shirt. I often had my kit man do it. This is a place where I like to live. Because it reminds me of all those sleepless nights to achieve the result. A result that would give satisfaction to all those fans who live for football every day. Spalletti keeps his own record of the game's evolution. And the style of Roma's new coach, Paolo Fonseca, has caught the Tuscan's eye this season. I have always been attracted to attacking football. I am always studying ways to play football where you score goals, where you look to go on the attack where you're always asking questions of your opponents. Lovely weight on the pass from Pellegrini, and Kleiner just had to finish. Fonseca, second me. I feel that Fonseca has brought the discussion of attacking football back to the forefront. He wants to attack, and he's clear about how to carry it out. He's also been good at immediately adapting to our league because he's reacted to changing circumstances. If they let him work, he'll always give Roma's demanding and knowledgeable fan base very enjoyable matches. Inspired by Edin Dzeko's goal-scoring form, Roma head to the San Paolo Stadium on Sunday evening to face a revitalized Napoli. A European showdown that Spalletti can't wait to watch. Jaco has all the characteristics of a complete striker. He can do anything for you. 
Cuando... When he gets on the ball, he knows how to hold it up and then has this change of direction and control of the ball to take it away. He attacks deep into the penalty area and he's good at throwing his weight around and he's quick for such a tall player. He's good with his head with either foot. He's a fantastic player. And the best is yet to come. Looking down from these ladders, the show that I expect to see and what I've seen in this restart, I think we can all be confident that the players will offer top quality football. Because in our league we have all the suitable characteristics to send out an important message about this sport all around the world. Football is definitely a way to help put things right. It can help after the terrible period that people have gone through all over the world. <laughs>